What could be loud enough to wake the North Pole, to startle the reindeer and the workshop hole? Well, Mrs Claus knows that there's nothing more booming and thunderous than Santa's tired snore. When Santa's too tired, he starts snoring non-stop. So loudly it drowns out the elves at the shop. It even shakes shingles way down at the barn, where Mrs Claus sleeps, ears plugged up with yarn. The Carol of the Coin is a book that addresses the two sides of Christmas. Wishing for things for oneself versus taking action to do something for someone else. In a desperate attempt to help me, Santa finally gets some help over the Christmas season. Mrs. Claus and Herb, the head elf, hatch a plan. In his sleigh, Santa knows that when the bells sound, it means there are children in a town on the ground. Creating pure cheer as they wish and believe, that causes the bells to ring on Christmas Eve. She had always wondered, but never quite known, why Christmas Eve naughtiness was always so low. Then Mrs. Claus took that small bell in her hand and felt its soft glow and the start of a plan. They repurpose old magic sleigh bells from Christmas's past, melting them down and turning them into coins. The coins are then sent to be trialed by the good people of Kalamazoo. All of this, the book, the Christmas coin and a red velvet pouch, and a letter from Santa, is delivered in a stylized shipping box from the North Pole. We don't want to spoil any more of the book, but do look forward to sharing the tradition of the Carol of the Coin with you.